Albania in search of answers, why have Prime Minister Rama's achievements remained at zero? In a country where politics is closely intertwined with the economy, and where many figures in power have amassed considerable wealth in a relatively short period, it is only fair to ask, where are Prime Minister Eddie Rama's real achievements? After nearly a decade in power, the answer seems still unclear, and in many aspects, it's zero. First and foremost, we must acknowledge that Mr. Rama's government has not been entirely without influence. There has been progress, but this progress falls far short of what could have been expected after so many years in office. If Albanians were asked about the government's greatest achievements, many of them would respond with disappointment. One of the main reasons for this disappointment is the relationship between the government and the citizens' incomes. For the majority of Albanians, life has become tougher, while friends of the government have become wealthier. Albania is a country with a stark divide between wealth and poverty, and this division has deepened during Rama's time in power. Many of his friends have become oligarchs with significant influence over the local economy, while many Albanians continue to live in poverty. For most Albanians, this is a challenging time, with high unemployment and low incomes. While Albanians work hard to secure a better life, friends of the government reap the most benefits from the country's economy. Another significant issue is the widespread corruption. Albania is a country where corruption is present at all levels of government and deeply affects citizens' lives. For many of them, combating corruption is an ongoing struggle, while corrupt officials often go unpunished. In this context, it's time for Mr. Rama's government to put their work under a big question mark. What is happening to Albania? Why should Albanians continue to live in difficult conditions while the government's friends become wealthier? Albania needs a government that genuinely works in the interest of its citizens, fights corruption, and builds an economy where wealth is distributed more fairly. Albania deserves real achievements and transparent governance, not empty promises and favoritism towards those in power. At the end of the day, the responsibility lies in the hands of the government and Mr. Rama. It's time for them to be held accountable for their work and to demonstrate that they are willing to work for the welfare of Albanians. Albania is a country with great potential, but this potential cannot be realized without responsible and just governance.